Hey fairies and welcome back to another YouTube video. And in today's video, I'm going to be revamping a wig you guys have already seen on my channel. This wig is from my line with Wow African. It's that Yaki Straight 360 wig. And I have been using this wig for the past three months. I just went ahead and refreshed the dye using a blue black and a velvet black from Adore. I put those dyes in the hair overnight and now I'm just going to be washing the dye out using the shampoo and conditioner from the main choice. I know y'all have seen this shampoo and conditioner for forever. If y'all are a 90s baby, I'm pretty sure you have seen the commercials with the man in the beautiful hair using this product. But listen, girl, I, it is the best thing for using on your wigs and your extensions. I'm going to be using this glossy polish that I know y'all always overlook in the beauty supply stores, but this is about that time we're actually going to use it for a purpose. I'm going to put that gloss into that conditioner and mix that drawn up and put that in the hair. And when I tell you the sleek girl, I have no complaints. I've been looking for a good shampoo and conditioner duo to really change the game on my wigs when it comes to curling my hair. And I have to say this shampoo and conditioner is a 10 out of 10. This wig definitely loves that duo. So if you didn't know, I am on a newly found natural hair journey. For all the girlies that are new, I have PCOS and basically that makes my hair super thin, shedding all the time if I don't take the right stuff to avoid all that. I've been using rosemary and babusa oil over the past three months and I can definitely say those two things have helped grow my hair so good. I started this journey in November. I did make a TikTok letting you guys know the things that I have been using to grow my hair this thick. So definitely make sure y'all follow me on TikTok as well. I'm just going to put about four braids in my hair because I want my base to be really flat for when I decide to put on my wig. To calm down my little adult baby hairs, I'm gonna take this Hydro Style Flexi Gel. It's just a gel, y'all. And it's from Curlsmith. And I love the Curlsmith line as far as my natural hair. I feel like I love all the organic and natural products in it. I feel like it's also been a factor in why my hair is growing so well as well. But I'm just gonna put that all over my baby hair and just brush my baby hairs back to get them out of the way for my wig install. So this is my Wigiana. She is all prepped and ready to go. I did let her air dry overnight. Definitely recommend air drying your wigs to the fullest if you're going to be straightening or curling the hair because it definitely makes a difference. I'm gonna use my fave lace foundation powder from Kiss in the color medium brown. And I love using this because it's a similar complexion to my natural scalp color. And I'm just going to put that on with a brush in the inside of the lace, spray that with some hairspray and blow dry it dry. So a fellow YouTuber actually put me on to this. It's from Eben and it's in the blue can. And it's another lace melt spray. I feel like Eben has came out with at least five lace melt sprays. She did 
did say to try the blue can because that one has the best sticky hold and I cannot lie or deny. I felt like this was as strong as the adhesive. I feel like I haven't used the adhesive from them in maybe over a year. But as far as this not being an adhesive spray and the way that it is holding like an adhesive spray, I definitely recommend 10 out of 10 because it holds really good. Now the only downside is I feel like the blue can is really sticky which is good for holding the lace but not so much for melting that lace in. So I only put the blue can on the back side of the lace and as far as the front baby hair area I did leave that clear and use the actual lace melt spray in the Supreme and I used that to just push down the front of the lace to blend that in with my hairline a little bit more and I love this black Supreme from Eben because I felt like it does a good job with melting my lace into my hairline without being super sticky. And then I felt like I had a little bit too much lace on that hairline. So I just used some tweezers and a razor to pull up any excess hairline that looked off and just cut that with the razor. And then now I'm going to move on to customizing the actual hair. But before I do that, I'm gonna put an elastic band on and put that at the tip of my hairline because I wanted it to melt in really good. So I'm just gonna make a middle part. I was thinking of doing a side part, but I'm just like, whatever. Let's just do the traditional middle part. So I just parted that with my comb. And then I'm gonna use some hairspray to just spray down the sides so that they stay. Then I'm gonna use my trusty hot comb and I'm just going to have that heat on 430 degrees and just hot comb each side of the wig to lay that down. I'm also going to run that hot comb in the front of the wig and in the sides and a little bit more in the actual parting because you want it to look as realistic as possible and get that flat flat type of look. I'm going to take that lace wig foundation one more time and put that in the parting to camouflage that part so that it looks more like our natural scalp. So because I'm going to be slightly curling the hair, I'm going to use the thermal protectant serum from High Key. Usually I like to use the spray, but because I'm not using a crazy high heat on my hair, I don't really need to have something as strong as the spray. So this is a thermal rolling heat brush and I love using this to give me that body that that light yakky texture really can have with curls. I feel like using the thermal brush just makes the curls last a lot longer throughout the day and especially because we use a thermal protectant it can give that hair that natural shine and sheen and make it look like you just walked out of the doobie shop. I just take really small sections and curl the hair backwards on the thermal brush and after a while it starts to run through the hair and make it super effortless curls. After I curled the entire section, I'm gonna do a little bit of light layering. I did cut this hair maybe about a couple weeks ago and I only cut it as far as framing the face, but I needed to go in and do some layering throughout. So I just take small sections and curl in a downward motion because you want it to frame the face but not be super blunt. And then after I finish cutting and doing my layering, I'm just gonna take that hot comb one more time to be a super Aquarius and get that perfect hairline look. And then that is pretty much it. I went ahead and did my makeup off camera. Let me know how you guys feel like I did in revamping this wig. Highly recommend that main choice shampoo and conditioner because it really gave my wig life. And per usual, can't wait to see you guys in my next one. And bye guys.
what I do You can't do what I do No, 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 you can't do what I do I need a bag and I need it to go. I hit a spot and I'm ready to go. I've been on go, so I'm always on go.